Hello my friends and welcome. Today we are going to solve this quadratic equation by completing the square method. Now, we are told that 4x squared plus 8x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, to make the coefficient of x squared here to be 1, we divide both sides by 4, or we divide every term in the equation by 4, and this is going to give us x squared plus 2x minus 3 over 4 is equal to 0. We want to complete the square starting with x squared plus 2x. We're going to take 3 over 4 to the other side of the equation, and so therefore we're going to have x squared plus 2x is equal to 3 over 4. When we add 3 over 4 to both sides, that's what we're going to get. So let's make the left hand side a perfect square. So to get the missing value, the value of c, this is x squared plus 2x plus c, the constant value which is missing, we need to divide the coefficient of x here, which is 2, by 2, and we square it, it will be equal to 3 over 4, plus the same value, so that both sides will be affected the same way. And this is going to give us x squared plus 2x plus 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, is equal to 3 over 4 plus 1. The next step will be to uh, factorize this expression here now that it has become a perfect square. And it will be x plus 1 squared will be equal to 1 and 3 quarters. 1 and 3 quarters added becomes 1.75 because 3 quarters is the same as 0 0.75 plus 1 will give us 1.75. Thereafter, let's see what happens. We need to find the square root of both sides because here we have x plus 1 squared and therefore let's find the square root of both sides. The square root of this side will give us x plus 1 is equal to the square root of 1.75 is going to be either positive or negative. And this is going to give us x plus 1 is equal to the square root of 1.75. You may use your calculator to make it easier. And that's going to give you 1.323. 1.3 to 3. Therefore, that is the square root of 1.75. To get the value of x, we will take 1.323, the positive value, minus 1. When you bring 1 to the other side of the equation, and that's going to give us x is equal to 1.323 minus 1, which gives us 0.3 to 3 and that is one of the values of x so x is 0 0.323 or x will be equal to the negative value which is minus right minus 1.323 minus 1 and that is going to give us the other value of x which is minus 2.323. And therefore, x has two values, and those are 0 0.323 or negative 2.323. And those are the solutions to that simple quadratic equation.